So I use a lot of this six millimeter round bar to make a lot of my blacksmithing projects. I'm not sure what that is in Imperial, but I might put it somewhere in the video. It's basically just mild steel, mild round bar. It's really handy for making different types of S hooks, hooks that I use for training with my Taekwondo belts for arm wrestling and uh, different types of scrolls. Um, one issue is always cutting. Uh, sometimes I might have a project where I need to make like 30 or 40 of these and uh, I don't want to spend the whole day with an angle grinder cutting 40 little pieces. This is hopefully where this comes in. I got the idea of a, a Pinterest image I saw a while ago uh, and it just sort of stuck in my brain. So basically this is not tried and tested. Uh, I have no idea if this is going to work. I have an idea in principle of how it should work. I have this piece of spring steel that I annealed earlier. It would have some sort of hole or slot that I would be able to pass the round bar through. And the idea would then be that uh, I could pass the rebar through the slots or the holes and I could bring the wrench in and uh, torque the rebar into the hardened steel and hopefully shear it off nice and clean. So come along for the ride and we'll see if this actually works. It might be an epic failure. So initially I was planning on just drilling a hole and keeping it like that, just having a straight through hole. And then I got to thinking that I might use a countersink and countersink the hole with the round bar passing through. I would have a more of a cutting edge to shear off the metal rather than just sort of squeeze or break it off with the straight through hole. That's the idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Let's see.
So I added this little piece of flat bar because when I put the round bar through the hole and I used my wrench to jack it up, I didn't want it to twist like this and push the two plates apart. I also just added a piece of 25 millimeter square tubing to extend the handle of my wrench. I think some people call it a cheat bar or something like that. It's just to give me a little bit more leverage when uh, attempting to cut. So let's see if it works. So as you see, it does work. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, you can see here that it makes a nice, pretty clean cut without too much deformation or bending at the tip. And yeah, I think I proved the concept. I think, that I, I think I proved that it works. This is really just a prototype. It's not very pretty, welds are ugly. Um, I think I'm going to use this one for quite a while. And at a later stage, I'm definitely gonna come back to this project, see if I can scale it up uh, maybe modify it, uh, but time will tell as I use it if any modifications are necessary, but yeah.